Authors Charles Siboto and Rihanna Lowe, alongside illustrator Christelle Lambrecht, have put together their first photo book titled The Blacksmith and the Dragonfly. This colorful book takes us on a visual journey of Ndilizwa, who dreams of becoming a warrior and the commander of the king's army, but she's hindered by the fact that she's the daughter of a poor blacksmith who makes spears just to get by. Rihanna and Christelle join me now uh, from our studios in Cape Town to tell us more about this project. A very good morning to you, ladies. Uh, welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. Thank you very much for having us. Yes, thank you so much. Well, it's an absolute pleasure. Now, uh, uh, Rianne, I'm going to start uh, with you. The Blacksmith and the Dragonfly. Take us through the inspiration behind this book and uh, what this book is all about. I took a lot of inspiration, actually, from my friends and also my co-workers at the time. I mean, growing up, I've always had a lot of African and mixed race friends. And... We've liked watching stories like Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, we've loved Harry Potter, Lord of Rings and those things, but there's always been a lack of representation. And I think in South Africa, we really have a lot of unique cultures and we really want to represent those cultures within the series, Kosuka Sekela stories. You know, with every photo book, the big question uh, perhaps would be, what came first? Was it the text or the illustrations? It was the text. Usually what we do when we work on the story first, we study the culture, we write the story, and then Charles and I will go together and do the character design, and then we'll give that to Christelle, who then starts the illustration on the work. Okay, uh, Christelle, talk to us about the storyline and what your initial vision for this book was. So, excuse me? Talk to us about the storyline and about uh, you know, what your initial vision for this book was. Well, the storyline is about the princess who always dreamed of becoming the warrior of uh, the king's army, but unfortunately, circumstances didn't always allow her to do that. So when the prince, Sia Bolela, when he got in trouble, uh, it, came up, it came up upon her shoulders so that she could go and save the prince. Um, when we first started off with the story, we weren't too sure of the way we were going to go with it, uh, but we decided with the cause of culture. So what we did, we designed a couple of dresses for the princess, we designed other characters, and then we actually went out and approached people on the street and asked them, do you like this, or how can we change this? And yeah, we went from that way. And how does the character develop in the book, uh, particularly the strong female protagonist? Well, uh, Rihanna? <laughs> yeah, Rihanna, do you want right. to wait, you know that? So, Nidalisa first starts off People think she's a bit rebellious and so forth, but she's just actually trying to find acceptance from her father, who wants her to be more like her mother was. So her mother was, of course, very ladylike, very traditional. And she has to really prove to her father that she is her own person and he has to come to accept that at the end of the day. And when she goes to save the prince, this is when he realizes that he's always had the perfect daughter all along. You know, you've also worked with Charles on creating the text aspect of the book and uh, Christelle on the pictures. How did this relationship come about? Well, Christelle and I have been best friends for 11 years already. We met wow. in school. Charles I met through the publisher. All right, Rihanna? I beg your pardon, Christelle, yes. how did this re relationship come about? Oh, well, as Rihanna has mentioned, um, I've met her in high school, and with Charles, it was through the publishers. So we've been best friends for, uh, yeah, it is actually 11 years now. Yeah. <laughs> so we know each other so well, it's like, we basically we complete one another. She has her strong points, I have my strong points, and, and together we decided we want to bring this story to South Africans and make everybody proud of being South Africa, because we have such a beautiful, beautiful country. and. Not many people in South, outside of our country even knows of all the different cultures. So, yeah, it's our passion to let the world know, like, hey, here's South Africa. This is what we have, and we are proud about it. Yeah, and the detailing on your work is, is so amazing. How did you guys manage to effortlessly capture the characters in the book? Well, <laughs> I put a lot of passion in it. I um, look at things, and I've always watched a lot of cartoons, so I always get an idea of how to bring life to characters. So I get like the text and I try to visualize how the character would feel in that situation. And then I try to put a lot of details in the backgrounds because we have so much in South Africa to see. But I always have to 
you know, keep myself back. Like I can't go overboard with everything. Right, right. Now, Rihanna, talk to us about the market for this book. Who is it targeted for? Ed. Well, it is for children ages six to nine. But if you like cartoons like myself, I still like looking at kiddie books and so, then that's for you as well. So for self-reading, I would say around ages eight to nine. But for reading along, I would say also like six to seven. All right, Rihanna and uh, Christelle, thank you so much for your time and we appreciate it. Thank, thank you very you so much, much for having us. All right, it's an absolute pleasure. <laughs> Speaking to us from our Cape Town studio about their first uh, photo book titled The Blacksmith and the Dragonfly is author Rihanna Lowe and illustrator Christelle Lambert. This is Morning Live. All right, let's take a short break.